we'll come to an example on how to determine volume by slices using Desmos.com. A volume is described as follows. The base is the region bounded by y equals e raised to the power of 2.3x, y equals 2.3x squared plus 0.4, and x equals 1. I've already graphed the bounded region below, which we will also verify in Desmos. Every cross-section perpendicular to the x-axis is a square. Notice I've shown two slices of the solid on the graph, and both slices are squares. The volume is equal to the integral from a to b of a of x to differential x, where a of x is the area of one slice. So notice how the side length of each square is equal to the function value of the top function minus the function value of the bottom function, where in our case the top function is the exponential function, y equals e raised to the power of 2.3x, and the bottom function is y equals 2.3x squared plus 0.4. And therefore the area of each slice, which is a square, is equal to the square of the difference of these two function values. Also notice how the bounded region starts on the left when x is approximately negative 0.258, which is the x-coordinate of this point of intersection. This point of intersection is difficult to find algebraically, and therefore I found it graphically using Desmos.com. To find it algebraically, we would have to set the exponential function and quadratic function equal to each other and solve for x. On the right, notice how the bounded region stops at x equals 1. So let's go ahead and set up the integral to find the volume, and then we'll evaluate the integral using Desmos. So the volume is equal to the integral from negative 0.258 to 1 of the square of the top function minus the bottom function, which is e raised to the power of 2.3x minus the quantity 2.3x squared plus 0.4. Let's go ahead and clear the parentheses. We have the volume is equal to the integral of negative 0.258 to 1 of the square of e raised to the power of 2.3x minus 2.3x squared minus 0.4. So notice how if you were doing this by hand, we would now have to square this. Notice if we were doing this by hand, we would now have to square this, determine the antiderivative, and then find big F of 1 minus big F of negative 0 0.258, which should be very messy, and therefore we are going to evaluate this using Desmos. So for the next step, we go to Desmos.com and click Graphing Calculator, which to save time I've already done, and I've also entered the three equations. To find the point of intersection on the left, we simply just click on the point of intersection, and we can see the x-coordinate is approximately negative 0 0.258, which gives us the lower limit of integration. And now let's evaluate the definite integral to determine the volume. To do this, click in cell 4, click show keypad, click functions, then click the integral. We can also just type in int from the keyboard. And now we enter the limits of integration. The lower limit is negative 0 0.258, tab. The upper limit is 1, tab. And now we enter the integrand function, open parenthesis e, raised to the power of 2.3x minus 2.3x squared minus 0 0.4, close parenthesis, squared, tab, dx for differential x, and we can see the value is approximately 10.7632, which is the volume of the solid we are looking for. I hope you found this helpful.